It's just so sad and it's tragic. Neighbors are distraught over the tragedy that happened just steps away from their own homes. Yesterday, police conducted a welfare check after 39 year old Matthew Edmonds did not show up to work. Once inside, they discovered the bodies of Edmonds and his six year old son, Preston. Police further viewed that that room itself had been sealed from the inside using duct tape and also using a blanket. Uh, also in the room were two charcoal grills. Uh, inside the grills both contained burnt charcoal and ash. Autopsies revealed the two died from carbon monoxide poisoning caused by those grills. It's our understanding that these grills were purchased just a couple of days prior to this event. Investigators also found a note hanging from the living room ceiling, warning them they would find the bodies and that there would be dangerous levels of carbon monoxide. There was a series of written documents in the home that uh, Mr. Edmonds made clear what his intent was in those documents. We still are going through them at this point in time. The AG's office could not comment on motive, but say they continue to look into why this happened. It may be a question we're never able to answer, uh, but certainly some of the motive factors we're hoping we're going to be able to discern. I don't know. I, I just felt that I needed to say a prayer as I were going by. Just, you know, bless their souls. News 9 did speak with Preston's mother on the phone. She lives in Maine and is making her way to New Hampshire. She and Matthew had shared custody. They also lost another son, Connor, who drowned at a family's house back in 2009. And he was also just six years old. The AG's office telling us tonight they will be looking back into that incident to see if it can help them in any way in this investigation. We're live in Derry tonight. Siobhan Lopez, WMUR News 9.